Piaget's theory of cognitive development outlines how children actively construct knowledge through interaction with their environment. His theory is structured around four stages, each representing a different way of thinking and understanding the world. 1. Sensorimotor stage, from birth to two years. In this stage, infants learn about the world through their senses and actions. Piaget proposed that infants begin with reflexive behaviors but soon develop more intentional actions. Key to this stage is the development of object permanence, the understanding that objects continue to exist even when they are not seen. Initially, infants will not search for an object that is hidden, but by around six months, they begin to realize that objects are still there even if out of view. 2. Pre-operational stage, from two to seven years. Children at this stage start using symbols to represent objects, but still lack logical reasoning. Piaget identified two main characteristics, egocentrism and animism. Egocentrism means that children struggle to see things from perspectives other than their own. They assume that others see, think, and feel the same way they do. Animism is the belief that inanimate objects have lifelike qualities. During this stage, children also develop centration, where they focus on one aspect of a situation and ignore others, leading to errors in judgment. An example is being unable to understand the concept of conservation, so they think that a taller glass holds more liquid than a shorter, wider one, even when both contain the same amount. 3. Concrete operational stage, from 7 to 11 years. In this stage, children begin to think logically about concrete events. They gain a better understanding of the concept of conservation, the realization that quantity remains the same despite changes in shape or appearance. Children also develop reversibility, the ability to mentally reverse actions, and classification, the ability to organize objects into categories based on common features. Logical thinking becomes more evident, although it is still grounded in concrete experiences rather than abstract ideas. 4. Formal operational stage, from 12 years and up. The final stage involves the development of abstract and hypothetical thinking. Adolescents in this stage can think about abstract concepts, such as justice or love, and are capable of deductive reasoning, which allows them to form hypotheses and systematically test them. They also become able to think about multiple variables in complex problems, such as considering all possible outcomes of a situation before taking action. Piaget emphasized that these stages are universal, but the ages at which children progress through them may vary. He believed that cognitive development occurs through a process of assimilation and accommodation. Assimilation involves integrating new information into existing schemas or mental structures, while accommodation involves adjusting schemas to incorporate new information that doesn't fit. Through this process, children develop increasingly sophisticated ways of understanding their world.